To scrape the rind of a natural rind cheese, you'll need a few materials. You'll need something sharp, like this razor blade, and hopefully it's a clean razor blade that hasn't been used on a cheese before. You'll need a piece of paper to collect the rind sample, and of course you'll need your cheese. And you'll also need a plastic bag that we're going to put the sample in. To scrape the rind, take the sharp razor blade and press in an upward direction to remove the microbes living in the rind and collect them on the razor blade. So you can see here I'm starting to get the crusts or the rind on the razor blade. You'll keep scraping and occasionally you can drop the sample onto the piece of paper until you start to see the paste or the curd coming through. For our study we don't want the microbes from the curd we only want the microbes in the rind. So it's important to not scrape too much. So depending on your cheese and how thick the rind is, you'll have to keep scraping for a while until you start to see some of the curd coming through. So now I'm going to stop scraping this particular area of this cheese. Because as you can see, this orange, dark, sort of brown color is starting to come through. That's the curd. We've hit the curd. We no longer have much of a rind. For our study, we need you to scrape an area about one and a half to two inches by two inches, depending on the size of the cheese, of course. We don't want to ruin your cheese, but we need enough of a sample so that we can extract DNA and also take environmental measurements. So that's a pretty good sized sample. And so you can see, here's the amount of sample that we collected from that particular scraping. So now I'm going to take that sample and I'm going to take it on this piece of paper and dump it into this plastic bag. And so it'll, if it's a natural rind cheese, it'll probably be pretty dry. It's important to try to collect it into one corner of the bag just so it's not dispersed throughout. Now as I look at this, this is actually a little bit low in terms of the amount of sample, so I'm going to scrape a little bit more just so I make sure we have enough sample for our study. Try to scrape from one particular area of the cheese that you're sampling and not across the entire wheel. But again, use your discretion so we don't have your cheese get completely denuded. So that should be good. That gives us a little bit more to work with. And that should be about enough for what we need to do. And ideally, you would repeat this process on two additional wheels, and that'll be great. Each sample from each wheel should be in a different plastic bag, so we should receive three plastic bags per cheese. Thanks for your help!